Hey guys, sky 2 Quad here. What you're looking at is a Valador B6, the six inch version from Flyfish. And uh, it's fully loaded. They even have the Flyfish motors. I think these are 2506, 1750 kV motors. And also running diversity along with uh, that uh, BZ whatever GN 251 GPS module is supposed to get like mega mega satellites. Also run the Air 3 unit. And on sale at the time, this is all new stuff. They have the, I have the Mamba F722 Easy MK1 motherboard on it, or flight control, not motherboard. And also running these cheapo back in the day it was a 50 amp esc from racer star so i had one laying around threw that one in and we're gonna see how it flies we're gonna do with the maiden flight right now uh everything is relatively new on here i've updated all the firmware to beta flight 4.4 not gonna use a gps rescue today just gonna check out the satellites but i will later on and see how the actual gps rescue works with the autonomous landing um, I wrecked up one of my other drones with beta flight 4.4 because I did not follow all the instructions. It's not exactly the same way as it was prior. So following the instructions and we're going to see how that works out. But I did price out everything on this six inch drone fully loaded. Uh, and that is coming out at just under 499 and latest tech. I, I keep blasting just the wrong that I'm seeing online right now. And that's that's a three and a half inch drone with a four, four year old frame guys. And they're pushing that for almost $600. $499 or less for a six inch or close to 600. Uh, well, you guys be the judge. Anyway, I did a base with pit tuning on this. I'm going to take it outside right now for a quick maiden flight. So let's take a break and do so right now. All right guys, Sky 2 Quad here. We're gonna need a maiden flight. Don't know how this is gonna go. Six inch Balador with the Fly Fish motors, 2506 and O3 air unit. That BZ, BZGNSS quad crazy GPS module. Supposed to get like 20 satellites. Not here, I normally only get like five or six. So we'll see if I get eight, I'll be happy. Also running ELRS um, diversity. Now, my radio is the Radio Master Boxer. Issue I had flashing this one is that it would not let me flash the Radio Master Boxer firmware. I had to stick with the Beta FPB firmware, but it did bind with the binding phrase from the Radio Master. So we're gonna test everything out long range today. I mean, long range, short range today, just to make sure it's all working good and it's working properly. Um, yeah, I love the way that this build came out only sub $499 for a six inch quad. Thank you, Volador. And it's on sale right now, I believe on Pyrodrone, it was $69 for the frame. And now it is only $62. And also something I've done here too, is that you can take the camera braces and flip them either way. If you have them on a certain way, that's good for say the, the Vista, you won't get a lot of vibration. But if you're doing the Cadex, not the Cadex, but the uh, DJI O3 air unit, you need to flip it around and there's a 3D print that you can use to mount the camera so that Rocksteady will work and should be buttery after post-processing. Or not even post-processing, but for Rocksteady itself. So you shouldn't even need gyro flows. We're going to find out today. So, all right. Just going to do some regular flying. Nothing crazy. And uh, yeah, let's go for there. All right. Let's see how this goes. Oh, and of course, it's got the Duquati LEDs. Had to do it. Had to do it. Let's see how long it takes to get some satellites, though. All right. Let us wait for some satellites. I think it's showing five right now. Oh, cool. So it's showing five satellites. Eight would be good. But I also have this other thing turned on, which shows the PDOP of my satellites. Right now, it's at 1.3. You want to stay under two under one would be ideal but if i had gps rescue if i wanted to test it out today that would be very very ideal so all right let's see if it doesn't shut off when i alarm 
Okay, 10 satellites so far. I've never had 10 satellites here. Okay. Just a cruise, guys. I'm nervous. Even if I didn't have Rocksteady on, it appears to be very smooth. I did pit tune this as well. Basement pit tuning. Just trying to get the feel of it. Feel comfortable with a much heavier quad. I can find my three inch Rhone, the quad Mula, for like a long time. So, this one is also conformal coated. I didn't use a silicone conformal coat this time. I used a uh, acrylic and that seems to be even more waterproof than than silicone because I had a tough time even soldering after I applied it so I literally had to use all of the um, well this F722 Mamba stack our flight controller is an easy stack so I had to use all the plugs to get it to work I could not even melt the acrylic If you guys can hear that but it sounds pretty gosh darn smooth I should have turned on my um, core temperature I like flying with that so I can kind of see what I'm, my temperature is while I'm flying if I need to take it down but so far it sounds good all right should we do a little punch My goodness, everything just got small. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, my goodness. I don't know how good it is for freestyling, but compared to my three inch, but that felt really good. Felt like it had a lot of control. Good gravy. This thing's got some punch. Oh, I'm so tempted to do that reverse upside down y'all. But I'm at 3.7 volts right now. I'm gonna take it back down when it's, gosh, this thing is just flying so good. My goodness. I'm quiet right now because I'm kind of like speechless right now. For the size, this thing is doing well. My God, it's got some freaking response. Holy cow. You can do <laughs> Oh Lord. I might even tear off the uh, rock steady in a couple of these flights because I'm not so sure. It, it's flying so smooth, guys, that I don't even know that I really need it at this point. Looking at four and a half minutes right now. You can't see that because my goggles won't let you. Oh my goodness. I have to watch a lot of different things at the same time. A lot of people walking around here. This guy decided to park his truck here to see what I'm doing. But 
good lord this thing is just amazing all right we're just gonna bring it in that's pack number one you guys just witnessed the first flight and this was beautiful well, i don't know let's see if i have to grab my teeth oh my god Woo! that was what a feeling five minutes of flight time Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, not really. I flaked. This is what a sub $500 drone should be and should look like. All right. You know where I'm going with this because that IH3 and other drones you probably want to sell in the future are close to 600 and you're getting nothing but advertising and less product. This Balador, six inch, has all the latest tech in it. And just what you get with the Balador frame, all of the TPU that you could possibly want, all the protection you can want, the weight, and you have the recessed XT60. This thing is freaking amazing. And like I said, I was able to get it at $499, under $499. All right, that's flight number one, guys. I'm pretty excited. Let's go for another one.